Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna assume that you can see me. I'm trying to get the better side of the phone uh, video. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is week six update and it's a little bit different. Um, I've got to eat some crow and I want to talk about something that I realized this week. Um, these updates have kind of started being just more or less me talking about what uh, I'm thinking and what is kind of going on inside my head during this little weight loss carnivore journey. It is 30 degrees outside and I decided to do this video in the truck. Um, probably not the smartest thing to do. But so week six, um, I did good throughout the week. I fasted a lot. I was doing, you know, 24 hour fasts. I probably did two total. Um, like Tuesday, I think I did from Tuesday morning to Wednesday morning. And then, um, I think maybe Wednesday night to Thursday night, um, something like that. But, um, overall it was a good week. As y'all know, I went out of town with some friends. Um, we had a great time, tons of fun racing to watch. I've posted a few shorts. Um, if you want to go check those out, those were some really cool videos, um, of my buddy racing and of some pretty neat cars that I saw there while we were there. But, um, everything was good through the week. Everything was good through the first part of the weekend. Um, Friday we got up that morning, um, drove down Thursday night, got up Friday morning. I made breakfast for everyone. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you already saw that, but I made biscuits, gravy, um, stuff like that. Stayed away from it. I had two prime sirloin steaks or one prime sirloin steak that morning. Um, didn't really eat anything that evening until we got back. And I think we had made, no, I smoked some, or I mean, I fried up some of the bologna that I had smoked and, um, we, we, warmed up some of the pulled pork that I took, had a few bites of the pork. And like I said, it's, you know, had a lot of sugar in it, but, um, wasn't really worried about it. Saturday got up again, made breakfast again for them, biscuits, gravy, uh, sausage, bacon, had a lot of the sausage and the bacon and had two of the, uh, two more prime sirloin steaks that day. Um, then Saturday night, we cooked burgers, more pork and hot dogs. Um, so everything was pretty good there. Um, somebody had a bag of gummy bears. I dipped into the bag a couple of times and, you know, felt bad about it. Whatever, it happened, no big deal. But then Sunday morning comes around and every Sunday morning, it's a tradition on our way back home, we stop at this one particular little mom and pop diner and they have amazing food and it's really cheap and well i ate biscuits and gravy and home fries and an omelet i ate a lot a lot of junk and so this is where we get into the part of what i've realized um after not eating a lot of carbs to any carbs really over the last six weeks and then essentially gorging myself Sunday morning, I have felt like, well, just for the lack of better terms, I've felt like crap for the last two days. Um, yesterday, I didn't get out of bed. I literally laid in bed. Not just like, I told my wife I just didn't feel good. I did have a headache. I have a headache today. But um, it was more or less like, I almost was like in a depressive state. Like my, my brain didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to get up. I didn't want to be productive. I didn't have any desire to literally get out of bed yesterday. Um, I laid and watched TV all day. I moved from the bed to the living room one time. And then by nine o'clock I was telling my wife I was ready to go to bed. Um, and I've never really, I mean, I've had times in my life where I've been that way, where I just get this woe is me, sulky attitude, and I don't want to do anything, but never, like I had no reason to. I'd had a great weekend with friends, and we'd hung out, had a good time, and then got home, everything was fine, but then for some reason when I got out of bed yesterday, 
or woke up yesterday, I didn't, I had no desire to do anything. So I started looking on the internet and, you know, carbs play a lot into your mood. And in the beginning, if you're on a, on a high carb diet all the time, when you eat carbs, it gives you this, this feeling of happiness. Like I've talked about the dopamine and stuff like that. And it actually can increase your body's ability to create serotonin, which makes you happy. And on the flip side of that, if you're not on a high carb diet, carbs can actually make you very moody and even cause depression and anxiety. Like <clears throat> if you eat, if you're not on carbohydrates a lot and you eat carbs, they bump your adrenaline. And so then you become anxious. And I wasn't anxious yesterday, but I was very depressed yesterday. And it's carried over into the day a little bit, but I still wanted to get this video up because we're doing Tuesday, Thursday uploads. And I've realized that I can't have those big slip ups like that anymore. Um, and as far as eating crow, because in a, in a previous video, I talked about how I knew that me personally, I can't have slip ups because if I do have a slip up, it's going to, it's going to snowball. And so yesterday I was aware of what was happening and I was aware and ashamed essentially of what had happened Sunday, but I still was trying to stay on track yesterday. Um, I think for breakfast I had, I don't know if you've, if you've watched me a long time, I found these little cans of, of beef, kind of like the cans of chicken. I had a can of that and I heated it up, um, put a little bit of cheese on it and then put it in one of those egg life wraps with some bacon. And that was very good. I had two of those and it was very good. Um, and then for dinner last night, um, my wife made me a steakums egg and cheese with some bacon bowl. Um, and that was very good. <laughs> very, very good. I love steakums. I know that's whatever people think it's trash meat, but whatever. I buy the 100% um, Angus beef ones, and they're lifesavers on carnivore to me. Um, so yesterday, I got back on track, drinking drinking water again. I drank a lot of water yesterday, I'm trying to just flush all this garbage back out of my system. And then this morning, I haven't eaten. It's... Um, it's 11, 11. I haven't eaten since, um, I think it was about seven or eight o'clock last night. So we're going to push the fast today to try to just get everything out of here and get back on track a hundred percent. Um, you know, you don't realize how good you feel when you're doing carnivore or a low carb diet until you have those slip ups. And that's, that's where I am today. I didn't realize just how good I was feeling until I slipped up and had that off. I mean, it was delicious. Don't get me wrong. It was a delicious breakfast, but I didn't realize how good I was feeling until after I ate that and I got home and it had made its way through my body and into my, you know, whatever brain or whatever it does. Um, and I just felt like junk all day yesterday. And I don't want to feel like that anymore. As y'all know, I've went off of testosterone and, you know, I originally I was like, maybe it's that, but I haven't, I haven't taken a shot in, in over a month. So any of the side effects of going off of that cold turkey should have hit me a while ago. And so I don't, I don't think it has anything to do with that. I started working out last week too. I'm going to work out today and Thursday. I'm going to kind of keep it the same days as my upload schedule. Just you know, upper body, lower body, two, two days a week. And then we're going to try to walk some more. Um, but it's, it snowed last night here and it's freezing. So we're not going to be walking any today. Um, so that's it. I'm eating crow today. Um, you know, carbohydrates, I believe from what I've read on the internet, I believe they do play a huge role in depression and anxiety and just mood all together. And, some things you read will tell you that it, it helps boost mood, but then if you read a little further, it's only for a you know a small amount of time. Um, mood swings are what's really more attributed to carbs, if 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 I read it correct, if I'm reading it correctly. So that's this week's update. I didn't weigh today because I knew I'm bloated. I knew it was going to be bad, um, and I may actually just start going to once a month weigh-ins. Um, 
So 337 was our lowest so far. Uh, I would have to guess because I got on the scale yesterday and I was like 340 something. So I would say there's probably about three to four pounds of just junk that needs to get flushed out of here. So we may do a weigh-in next week just to see how we've recovered from the, the slip-up. But that's it. I'm not I'm not going off the rails. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. This was a one-time, you know, fluke. Peer pressure. There was no peer pressure. If I had sat there and ordered a pound of bacon and eggs, my buddies wouldn't have said a word. Um, but at the same time, they didn't say a word whenever I ordered the junk, and they knew that I was, you know, not eating that stuff. So, <laughs> That is what it is, but we got to get this car. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I got my buddy's drag car behind me on my trailer. We're going to get it load, or hooked up, taken to him today, and um, yeah, we're going to do a cooking video Thursday. I uh, got like a, some kind of a roast I'm going to do. Uh, going to maybe cook it like a tri-tip or something like that. Um, other than that, let me know how you guys are doing. How How was this last week for you? I appreciate all the kind words, the comments, the FOMO. Um, I'm really trying to focus on that. If you haven't seen that video, it's up in the iCard and down in the description below. But um, it's that's that's really something I've been trying to work on this week. And I guess I kind of gave into it Sunday. I'm rambling at this point. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. That is the six-week update. Had a good week until the weekend, and then I kind of screwed it up. But we're back. We're on track. And uh, we're getting this weight gone this time. Um, we're going to do a year end video soon. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment, all that good stuff. We'll see you next time, guys. Y'all stick with me. We'll see what we can do. Thanks guys. God bless.